Everybody who's a hater, I would sure like to thank them. I'm Mr. Krabs, you're looking more like Plankton. Now let's see what Cosmo and Ron to do. Obtuse, rubber goose, green goose, grava juice. Powerpuff girls taught me how to be the nicest by making sure I don't forget the sugar and the spices. Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi. I just got done watching Middle Age Ninja Turtles, and it was kind of fun, but it was kind of not that great in my opinion. The audio on it kind of sucked, but you know, hey, if you want my thoughts on it, I've done a reaction to it. Um, it's probably up by now. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> Other than that, though, yes, we are about to sit here and watch Ruby, Volume 1, Chapter 15. We are moving right along with this, you know, series, and before we know it, I'll be sitting here reacting to the songs of Volume 1 in Ruby, and that is something I have never done on this channel, is reacting to music. Now... I think I found a nice little lyric video with all the songs in it, and I definitely want a lyric video because the simple fact is, is I want to know the words to the song. Because more than anything, I normally just sit here and pay more attention to what's going on on the screen than focusing on, you know, the words of a song that's being sung at that moment. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I don't remember what the name of this episode is so um i guess since i don't remember the name of the episode and all that stuff i mean the last four well not episode chapter of course um the last four chapters technically it was four in my opinion it's more like two chapters but you know we know how the first volume went right right um technically the last four chapters have had a lot to do with jean um, you know what? Instead of me rambling on right this second, I'm just going to go ahead and push play and let the intro start playing. And that way I could just run my mouth through the intro and then we could jump right into the episode. If And that came out really weird when I said the word jump. So yeah, I don't go by scripts. What you get is what you get from me. I don't do scripts. I don't I don't plan much of anything whenever I start talking, so yeah, sometimes I come in with the intro knowing vaguely what I'm thinking about saying, but when it comes out, it comes out. I don't know. So three, two, one, and play. Okay, so while the intro is going on, yes, the last four chapters have had a lot to do with Jean and... Jean, you know, there is a lot, you know, there is a lot of unanswered questions about him as to why he just woke up one morning and decided to just go off and be like his father and his grandfathers and stuff like that and become a warrior. But, you know, hey, I'm presuming he's a teenager. Like I said in a comment to somebody else, presuming he's just a teenager, plus I'm using cartoon logic, presuming he's just a teenager and... He ain't asking much questions, he's just jumping right into stuff. But, for the most part, cartoon logic. And I'm wondering about that statue that he's looking up at still in this intro. And I'm wondering if that statue, because Pira touches him by the shoulder, and, you know, touches him by the shoulder as if he's looking up at his father. I don't know. Hey, that was my thumbnail right here. Okay, so what are we going to do with this episode? And yes, if you are new here thanks to this chapter, welcome to Vale. If you're here because of this chapter, as you can tell, I talk. I know I've said that in a lot of Ruby reactions, but I talk. Okay. Oh, you love that, don't you? The planning and organization. <laughs> you know, we haven't had much yellow, well, yang, in this series. We haven't had much Blake, neither. She wants to spy on them so she'll have the upper hand in the tournament. Oh, you can't prove that. 
Sounds good to me. Hmm. What happened here? Robbery. The second dust shot to be hit this week. Place is turned into a jungle. Hmm. That's terrible. Another so dust shop, huh? I bet it was Roman. You thinking the uh, White Fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. Hmm. <laughs> the White Fang. What an awful bunch of degenerates. What's your problem? My problem? I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. White Fang, huh? Of misguided faunus. Misguided? Misguided faunus. Humanity off the face of the planet. Hmm. So then they're very misguided. Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. Yeah, it was probably Roman. Besides, the police never Roman Torchwick. See? Hey, there you go. Maybe it was him. Wow, it's been a few months already. Oh, wow, okay. Y'all were right about people discriminating against Faunus. Um. Hey, get down from there this instant. Oh wow, dude! <laughs> Don't be disrespectful to folks, dude. I mean, with the attitude you're showing, I wouldn't discriminate against you because you're a faunus. I'd discriminate against you because you're being a jerk. Eh, I'm presuming this fella's gonna come back into play later. Okay, well that was pretty good of him. <laughs> and there it goes. Quick, we have to observe him. Hmm. Now I know Blake can't be smitten that much just from a wink. No, he got away. Uh, Weiss. <sighs> Salutations. Um, Hello. okay. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. Um, why don't you get up? Do you want to get up? Thank you. Yes. My name is Penny. It's okay. Meet you. Penny. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. Blake, are you sure you didn't hit your head? <laughs> oh, I'm Yang. Yeah, I was about to say, say your name, Yang. Hmm. Is she going to follow you? She was weird. Now, where did that faunus riffraff run off to? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. Not you. Not you. You. Me? Um. I, I don't know. I, what I, um, didn't you call her weird? Friend. Oh, friend. Oh my goodness, Penny, you are being weird. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys. Oh, is this what it was like when you met me? No. She seems <laughs> far more coordinated. So, huh. what are you doing in Vale? I'm here to fight in the tournament. Really? You know, I did have a feeling that she was going to be a fighter. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Y'all can actually agree on something. Does that mean you know that monkey tailed reptilian? The who? The filthy faunus from the boat. Why do you keep saying that? Huh? Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. He's a person. Oh. Yeah, quit calling him filthy faunus and stuff like that. As a trash can or this lamppost as a lamppost? Stop it. Stop what? He clearly 
Yeah, I think Weiss is really coming off as a racist right now, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you two. Why don't y'all agree? Well, I actually know why is pretty wrong in this. I can see why Blake is keeping it going, so never mind. But still, agree to disagree for at least 10 minutes. People like you that force the White Fang to take such drastic measures. People like me? You're discriminatory. I'm a victim. Are you a victim? Wait, what? You want to know why I despise the White Fang? Why I don't particularly hmm. trust the Furnace? I wasn't expecting her to say she was a victim. Has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear. Board members executed. An entire train car full of dust stolen. And every day, hmm. my father would come home furious. And that made for a very difficult childhood. Hmm. You weren't arguing with Ruby, so why why get an attitude with her? But at least you're directing your attitude back to Blake, so. Wait a second. Yeah, um, is Blake a faunus? Huh. And I'm presuming we're about to get the reveal of some type of ears here. I knew you would look better without the cat ears. Awesome. That is great. We got an actual fondness with the team. And now Weiss has to take back some of the stuff she said. We only got a minute left. What are we going to do within this minute? She's been gone all weekend. Like the big girl, I'm sure she can handle herself. Weiss, come on. She's one of our teammates. Is she? We all heard what she said. Oh, goodness Weiss, gracious. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Either way, she's missing. And okay, so who cares that she's a faunus, Weiss? Okay. Right underneath our noses. <sighs> hope she's okay. There's obviously nothing wrong with being a faunus. Hmm. Okay, so... Huh. Okay, so Blake's a faunus. And... Huh. I got a silhouette here of this new, you know, faunus that's also with the tail. And then there was Penny right beside him. That was a little silhouette I had right there. But, okay, so Blake's a faunus. Weiss is racist. Ruby's cool, and so is Yang. Okay, so we got everything straight now. Um, <laughs> do I see Weiss continuing to stay the way she is? No, obviously with, I think it's seven volumes this thing has completely. With this many volumes, I see some character growth for Weiss happening. So will she stay being such a discriminatory person against, you know, Faunus? I really doubt it, but as of right this second, she is being completely and utterly unreasonable, 
just because Faunus are at war with, you know, her father and, you know, her family and stuff like that, you know what, hey, throw that to the side. That's not every Faunus. That is ridiculous for anyone to believe. So, yeah, that's a little... She's being a little bit way too much with that. But, yeah, um... Blake's a faunus. Wow. <laughs> I know I've said the word faunus like 15,000 times this episode. Well, this chapter, but I've really got to get better about saying chapter, not episode. But everything else is episodes to me. But, wow. Um, she's a faunus. I know I didn't have like an awestruck reaction to it, but it just felt like everything was coming at us a mile a minute with the way Weiss was... Well, not everything coming at us a mile a minute. It felt like Weiss was being just a mile a minute with all her discrimination towards the Faunus. And it just, it kept hitting you and hitting you and hitting you. It's like, come on, chill out, girl. Agree to disagree for five minutes so y'all can take a break from all this bickering and arguing. But, yeah, um, I don't know, ooh, um, what's this mean since, okay, that, the that tailed, Faunus, because I don't know his name. That tailed Faunus is the competition in this little, you know, fighting tournament that they got going on. So is Blake going to tell him what he wants to know? Hmm. But either way, Blake and him are kind of having a little bit of tea or coffee or whatever they're having. And I don't know how that's going to work out in the long run. Um, ah, jeez. I just don't like the idea of having a show, having yet another show trying to deal with, let's just go ahead and be blunt with it, dealing with racism and stuff like that. Heck, we had it in Star vs. the Forces of Evil. We kind of got it in, kind of got it in the Owl House. It's not really, you know, racism in Owl House. It's more like, hey, people are different. You can't discriminate, the, you know, different people and stuff. But... Cartoons have really been dealing with discrimination a lot lately, and it's kind of like, okay, look, I get it, you know, we're not supposed to discriminate, and no, it's true, we're not supposed to discriminate, but I gotta keep in mind that this was made years ago, so this was a different time period where they were tackling these issues much more, so yeah, um, Weiss, quit being a jerk, <laughs> Blake, you shouldn't have kept a secret. That is something as well. Granted, I know there's a lot of discrimination against the Faunus, but Blake kept a secret from her teammates as well. So you got to keep that in perspective as well. Um, Granted, yes, I do understand completely where she's coming from. You don't want to sit there and say, oh, look, I got cat ears. I mean, come on. <laughs> you don't want to just do that and then all of a sudden you seen how the um bunny ear girl was getting picked on from Cardin, so she doesn't want that for herself so i kind of get it but you know hey it is what it is i have rambled on long enough though so it is now y'all's turn y'all know the drill from here same as always hit the like tickle to subscribe don't be texting and driving and as Mr. Rogers always says, And I like you as you are. I do.